just make a mess while they leave. This is why we film alone. Hey, what's up writers and readers? My name is Frankie Hope and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. And I'm doing a series! So I post once a week and I'm still trying to figure out what day that should be. In addition to that, I'm gonna do a really short series on literary devices. I have seven that I wanna talk about right now that I think are really helpful when writing and they'll be really short videos, but the goal is that by the end of the video, we'll have a writing prompt and the writing prompt will include one of the literary devices. So. Before I get started, I have news! I'm really excited today because I get to be in a commercial and I don't really want to get into it too much and I don't really want to tell you too much and also I don't even know if anyone's ever going to see it. But I'm excited because my wife and I get to play a part where we are adopting a child and so I'm excited. That's happening tonight and I'll update you later and tell you how it is. So, Koda, are you ready? Mm. He's ready. <laughs> I've talked a few times on my channel about things that you can improve your writing with and one of them is learning. I want to talk about how to make your lines come to life by using literary devices. A word of caution before we get into it. No purple prose. This is not so that we can make the most flowery statements that kind of make you want a word vomit maybe in the back of your throat a little bit, but through these literary devices we can learn some things to make our writing a little more interesting. The first one I want to talk about today is assonance. Assonance means there is a reoccurring or repeating sound from vowels. And an example of this would be line 11 from Robert Lowell's poem, Skunk Hour, who seemed to leap from an L.L. Bean catalog. So we have that E sound. Even if it's not spelled the same, it still sounds the same, and that's assonance. So today's writing prompt to learn assonance is what is one scene that your character would not be caught dead in? Write a little bit, maybe just a line or two using assonance to describe it, or maybe have your character talk about a place they'd never want to go to. And let me know below. Leave it in the comments what you've done, and I'll do it too. As always, thank you for watching. I'm really excited to do this mini-series. Oh, and also, you could subscribe. There's a button. You can click it. And also you can hit that little bell and it'll tell you when I've uploaded something. That way you can see the rest of this series.